Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about the huge announcements coming from New World. We're going to read the statement, we're going to go into it a little bit, and we're going to talk about the possibility of an open beta and more information on that, and then talking about really the YouTube channel as a whole as we move closer and closer to release. So stay tuned for all that, a lot to talk about. Uh, let's get started. So we are humbled by the support New World received from players around the world throughout closed beta. During beta, more than a million adventurers played more than 16 million total hours. Thanks to your support, New World became one of the most watched games on Twitch and one of the most played games on Steam. The passion and enthusiasm you've shown for New World validates the work we've put in over the past year, improving the game based on your feedback. Along the way, you've also given us a ton of feedback that will be used to make New World even better. We want New World's launch to be a smooth and fun experience for all players. And that means making some improvements based on what you encountered during closed beta. So we're going to take a few extra weeks to smash bugs, improve stability, and polish the game. New World's new global launch date is September 28th, 2021. This was not an easy decision to make. We know this isn't the first time we've changed our launch date in pursuit of quality, and that it can be disappointing to wait a bit longer. But we want to be sure to deliver you the highest quality game possible at launch. Thank you for your support and feedback. We're listening. We'll see you in a turnum. So this is definitely good to hear at the same time, terrible to hear, because a lot of people are excited about what could have came, uh, you know, that August, uh, you know, date, that August 31st. A lot of people excited about that re initial release date as we move farther away into the September 28th, 2021 release date for the full game. I do think there's an opportunity here for them to jump onto a, an open beta, giving many people the opportunity to test some of these servers out, you know, stress test these servers. And obviously, like I said, impact that late game uh, you know, a late game content that we haven't been able to before, uh, you know, closed beta is definitely a great option for people to, to test that early mid game, but it was only two weeks long. There's a lot of people that didn't get to test that late game content. I think that's a big thing that they need to work on getting people out there, actually test some of those later dungeons, those invasions, those wars still need a lot of testing, obviously after their fixes to make sure that they're still viable. Um, you know, they're still workable. Um, you know, just a lot of problems that need, like I said, tested yet again, before release in my opinion. So if they're going to have this delay, in my opinion, after they fix some of these bugs, after they fix some of these, you know, tweak some things around, they do need to have us test yet again. And I think that's definitely something they may be thinking about. And I think an open beta would give everybody an opportunity to try this game. And there's nothing to lose there because you are going to have more interest in the game, yet more streamers streaming the game. And a lot of people, like I said, testing that late game content like Outpost Rush, Invasions, Wars, and obviously late game dungeons and PVE arenas as well that we've talked about in previous videos. So there's a lot to really talk about today, but I do want to just mention open beta definitely could be a thing with saves from previous closed beta i think that's something that they could be talking about right now obviously this is just speculation and hopes so don't get your hopes too high but i think you know it does make sense to give us the opportunity to actually play some of that late game content to actually test some of that late game content so they know that they're polished over uh, you know, like I said, not very many players got to test out all that level 60 questing, uh, you know, level 60 dungeons, and like I said, outpost rush as well. So that's just my thoughts on the open beta possibility coming up with as well the uh, really the announcement for this September 28th, 2021 release date launch. Uh, you know, a lot of people are going to be very salty about this. A lot of people are going to be upset. Um, you know, it's just one of those things that is going to happen in this gaming industry. And if you want an MMO that succeeds, you're going to want a great start. And I think this is going to continue to make a, an even better start for New World. Uh, we just have to push back the negativity and, uh, you know, see you guys September 28th, obviously, on launch day. I will be streaming. We're going to definitely take you guys through all of it as we get closer and closer to launch. Definitely, like I said, a lot of updates to come, I'm sure, and a lot of good things and, uh, you know, bad things as well to come. So we'll definitely, like I said, keep you up to date. Just want to give you guys my quick two cents on the matter myself. I really do appreciate all the awesome support on our previous video regarding New World and some of the leaked weapons and everything. That did take a little while to make, so definitely, like I said, take a look yourself if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys all on Eternum, September 28th.